Hi, welcome back to Camper Van Culture. Today we're going to show you how to fit one of our ARB awnings with the T2 bay window mounting bracket kit to a van. Fit that bracket so it's tight up against this edge. That edge though, it's 104. Now once you've fixed that bracket from there to its position where the bracket goes at the front is one, two, three to that point. Fitting these brackets are really simple. I'll take the end one off here. You'll see there's some nuts there. They slot in the rail like so. And then all you do, you get your Allen key and then tighten those up. And it really is as simple as that. With the kit comes these three spongy bits and those uh, three U sections if you like. Now be mindful of where the brackets are going because what you do, you put the spongy bit, pull the adhesive backing off and that sits flat inside the gutter. That bit there, the U bit, it's got that self adhesive stuff that you pull off the red and then you fit that on top of the gutter there. Once those are stuck on and in place, if you've got a pop top roof, it might be best just to pop the roof. It just gives you a little bit more um, access to the back of the bracket to tighten them up. For this next part, you just need two 13mm spanners. And then just offer the horn up and clip it onto the gutter and then just get your spanner one of the 13 mils reach around the back onto the head of the bolt with one spanner then when the other spanner tighten up the nut on the front we like these ratchet spanners uh, you can use a socket set most for the front but you tighten that up not all the way just so it grabs it and holds it in place for you Just so it holds itself, and then the middle, then the rear. And once you've done the rear, just go to the front again. Obviously, don't over tighten these because you're going to damage your gutter. So just go until you feel a little bit of resistance. No damage, obviously, though, we haven't over tighten that. Same as there. I mean, these are stainless nuts and bolts, so the idea is that they will strip and fred before you do any serious kind of over tightening. But I mean, it's all common sense, really. If you've um, if you fit, if you've got a bare window van, you're no stranger to using a spanner, I should imagine. Now, if we look at the angle of the bracket, you can see the position that when the roof comes down, it clears that. Well, that's the angle you should be looking at with these, and. You know, there's, if you really push, there's probably a slight movement. We do that so it doesn't crack or split the gutter, there's, but there, there isn't much movement in these, to be honest. And that's it. And then with your three brackets fitted, once you open that door, it clears that bracket nicely. and that's your awning in place. Now, what we're gonna do now is show you how to take the awning out so you can use it with just one person. It's very, very easy. And just a few of the features of this awning. In the package comes two little packs. One of them's got the tent pegs and the guy ropes. The other one's got an electrical lead with a little controller. Now, the controller dims the light, it also changes the light of the colour of the strip light. Um, you can go from orange to white. Uh, the reason being, bugs are attracted to one of the light sources. So if you find that you've got a lot of bugs around at camp, you just switch it to the other colour and then the bugs should go away. Uh, that's a nice little feature that this awning has and none of the others have. 
To set up your awning is really easy with one person. We suggest just get one person to do this, even if there's two of you, because you're just going to argue a little bit. Uh, well, not really, but it's better just to get one person used to doing it. So while one person's doing the awning, um, the other one can, you know, do something else, get the kettle on, get the beers out, whatever. Or if you're just camping on your own, uh, it's really doable and actually preferable to do it on your own. Here goes. Unzip the awning like so. Undo the strap at the end. Undo the other one at the end. So that means that this strap here is holding it in the middle. If you do the other ones and just leave that one, everything's going to be off tilt. So off tilt rather. So undo that. And when you've done that, just rest the awning on top of the case like so. Now, what that lets you do is undo the legs, the rafters, sorry, like that. Same, like that. Then, you unravel the awning. Easy enough. Then just simply lift the leg down there. Just, when you twist that, they lock into position. It doesn't have to be perfect for now, you're just setting it up like so. And then just grab the rafter, pop it in the little location hole, give that a twist, that locks it in place. Then same there, just give it a little twist. And once it's roughly set up, you can then go around and make your adjustments. That's how you want it. This is pretty good anyway. And then just tighten your rafters up, which will make your canvas more taut. And then you get these Velcro bits here on the end. You just simply lock those off to the rafters all round, on both sides. And there you have it. Now, you can put the guy ropes on, which we suggest you do peg it down just in case you get a gust of wind and also when there is a little bit of drizzle um, we like to just drop one of the legs like that and that means all the rain will run up one side obviously sensible usage applies if it's blowing a gale don't put it out because it's uh, a big sail in effect um, but it will stand a fair bit of uh, breeze with the with it pegged down and then this here is a strip light and there's the lead which your lead goes in and we just took that behind the velcro and then into the vehicle now this awning comes with a range of accessories you can get a front wind break which is really nice you can get a side wind break which is also very handy now you can also get a deluxe room which has four sides and a floor with zip out walls and finally there's also a nice front annex which has a sheltered area for when you need it on the front of the awning so that's how it goes thanks for watching and go grab one of these for your van it really is a worthwhile bit of kit